All right, today I'm gonna to have something very simple. It's just gonna be a fruit smoothie. Um, seen a whole bunch of these on YouTube, but I'm gonna do it because I am craving a smoothie. So what I'm gonna do is, let me just show you what I got. So I just got some milk here. You can use any kind you want, uh, nut milk, whatever. I got my spinach here, because I like the vitamins and uh, two cups of mixed berries, which you can get anywhere at the store. They're frozen, and uh, it's gonna be a uh, very nice, quick, easy smoothie. So what I'm gonna do is just add enough milk to almost cover, just almost cover the nut on the bottom of the uh, container. Then I'm gonna put the spinach in there, and I'll just grab a uh, handful, nothing too crazy. And two cups of my frozen berries. Now the trick with the Vitamix, the old style ones, when it comes to using frozen fruit, is to run the machine longer. And there's a reason for that. Let me kind of just show you an example here. Ugh, I have so many things in here that I can't get out. Okay. This is a new style container. And you can see that the blades sit pretty close to the bottom. So when something gets down there, it's very good chance that the blade is going to pick it up and uh, process the food. And uh, also that uh, the bottom here is kind of like concave. So anything that falls on the sides is going to kind of drift towards the blade and then get picked up. But with the Vitamix, the new style ones, uh, the old style ones, excuse me. Uh, I got another one of these containers here. Old style Vitamixes, you can see that... On the bottom it's flat and the problem with the bottom being flat is obviously you can't have food get drawn into the blades as easily and uh, another thing is that the blades sit a bit higher from the bottom so it's a little bit tougher for ingredients to get picked up by the blades especially if uh, you know if it's a frozen piece of uh, food like a chunk of frozen strawberry so it, it might get um, it might hide underneath the blade and uh, it might get stuck one in one of the corners so you can expect a, a little bit of ice chunk if you don't process it for enough time if you process it for a longer time the frozen strawberry chunk will eventually soften up enough to get drawn in by the liquid and get processed by the blade so you just run it for longer and for me, when it comes to a frozen, a frozen mixture like this, it takes about three minutes, believe it or not, but it does come out nice and smooth and cold. And if you want to just cool it down a little bit more, once it's done processed, you can dump a nice cube or two in there. It really doesn't affect the flavor in the uh, overall scheme of things, but that's the trick to doing it with the old style Vitamix. And so I'm going to get started here, get my action dome in place, get my funnel here, very simple, just uh, put on high speed and let it go.
until it starts to kind of melt the bottom of it, and it'll start circulating. like an ice cream stage. If I dispense it out, it'll just be an ice cream. said that when you use frozen stuff like that and that ratio you're pretty much gonna get an ice cream at first you just let the machine run and the heat will eventually thaw it out enough so that it can circulate and it's nice and smooth and delicious I didn't add any sweetener or anything so this is an all-natural type of uh, smoothie, naturally sweetened, and it's very good. There's nothing left in there. No chunks, no nothing. When you do all frozen strawberries, um, that you're going to have probably a little chunk or two every, you know, come out of the, uh, the bottom. Like I said, the only way to get... Uh, rid of all that is just to let the machine run longer and uh, reverse it a couple times and it'll kind of slosh everything around and it'll uh, pick it up and then process it through the blades but um, it's like I said not very difficult it'll do smoothies uh, extremely smooth just like the new ones it's just uh, it takes a little bit more time with these machines uh, and it's not really because it's any less powerful or um, it spins any less speed or anything like that. It's just a container design. It's not quite as efficient on the bottom portion as the new ones. Uh, but that's it. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.